Spawn an enemy group with a trigger that will then patrol an area you specify. We're going to place a player and I'm going to choose an unarmed rifleman. We'll place him right about here. Place him in this direction. And then we're going to go to F3 triggers. Choose a trigger without a size and place that next to the player. We're going to edit the trigger. We're going to go to the text box and type in spawn enemy. Then we're going to go to trigger activation and under activation we're going to choose a radio alpha. This is going to be a radio trigger and we're going to set it to repeatable. I'm going to give you guys a code to put in the on activation box but we're going to do that outside of the game. So for now we'll just close this and then we're going to go to the top left and click on save and we're going to save our mission under Molden and name it spawn patrol all right now that our mission is saved we're going to go to the top left to the scenario tab and then go down to where it says open scenario folder here we are in our mission folder and what we're going to do is we're going to start up a notepad document you can use a notepad plus plus document if you want and i'm going to give you guys a code so once you get your document open you see the cursor blinking just hit enter go one line down that's just to give us some space and here is the code underscore squad one space equals space left square bracket get marker pause space quote spawn one end quote and then comma space east and then comma and then hit enter so you're one line down left square bracket quote end quote comma quote end quote and then two right square brackets and you're going to put space call space b i s underscore f n c underscore spawn group with this s capitalized and the g capitalized and then semicolon and you're going to hit enter again and you're going to go left square bracket underscore squad one comma and then space get marker pause and then space quote spawn one end quote and then comma and space one five zero and then right bracket and then space and then call space EIS underscore FNC underscore task patrol with a capital P and then a semicolon hit enter again and we're gonna add a hint you don't have to have this hint this is just to tell you in your test mission that the squad that we're going to spawn has spawned it's just some feedback that's all it is so type in hint and space end quote and the enemy squad has spawned exclamation point end quote and then semicolon all right let's go over this code squad one is going to be the infantry squad that we're going to spawn it could be one soldier three soldiers or even eight soldiers they're going to spawn at a marker named spawn one so basically the code is going to get the marker position the location of spawn one which we'll have we have to create the squad is going to be from the east faction and then the next line down here we have to put the class names of this squad which we'll get once we get back in the editor and once they spawn they're going to be spawned using the spawn group function and that's what the f and c stands for is function then we're going to go down one line again the same squad once they're spawned going to patrol task patrol which is another function they're going to patrol around spawn one in a 150 meter radius around spawn one and then of course you have your hint that'll just give you some feedback that the squad has spawned we're going to go back into the editor and we're going to create the marker for spawn one and then we're going to get the class names of a squad that we want to spawn. all right let's go to the map and we're going to go to the radio station here and we're going to go to markers f6 and we're going to just choose a start marker 
and up around in the center we're gonna place this marker and we're gonna edit the marker and under the variable name we're gonna put spawn one now remember spawn one is the marker that we defined in the code once you have that just hit OK and if you hover your mouse cursor over it you'll see that it'll say spawn one I'm gonna go to F2 groups and then to OB4 and then we're gonna go to FIA infantry we're going to place a patrol team you're gonna to go to the entities panel you can see that they're highlighted you're gonna right click one of them and you're gonna go down to where it says log and then log classes to clipboard you're gonna click that and that box will disappear and then just delete the team because we don't need them so what we need to do next is go back to our desktop and to the code and add the class names to the code back on our desktop and looking at the code what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the second line here where I've highlighted and you're gonna highlight those quotes and in between the brackets you're gonna press control V now what that'll do is that'll paste the class names that we captured in the editor and what we need to do is add quotes before and after each one of these class names so we'll add a quote and then a quote for the last one now we need to add a comma after each one of these and no comma at the end here and then we're just gonna bring this up like this and that's it alright so there's our class names we have our spawn one marker down so let's copy this code and press control C or you can just right click and copy it and then we're gonna go back into the editor and paste this code into the trigger go to your trigger here in the entities panel right click it and go here that'll bring you to the trigger we're going to edit the trigger and then go to the on activation box and you're gonna press control V and that'll paste the code and all you have to do now is just hit OK and then we're going to save that and check it out hit zero on your keyboard and I'm going to scroll down and go to radio and you're going to see the word spawn enemy so we're going to hit that at the top you should see the enemy squad has spawned so what we're going to do is we're going to hit escape and go to spectator and you should see a squad that has spawned so we're just going to check out what these guys are doing Go. So as you can see, these guys are roaming around. So these guys are going to patrol a uh, 150 meter radius around this marker, just like that. Pretty cool. All right, let's go get out of that. And you could actually spawn another squad because we have it set repeatable. So if we hit radio and spawn enemy, then hit escape and go to spectator, you're gonna see a second squad show up. So let's uh, check these guys out. So now you have two squads spawning. Now this is just our test. Yeah, these guys seem to be going in the same direction, but they should randomly go in, into different directions. So let's do that one more time and see where this other squad that spawns go goes. So we spawned another squad. Hit escape, spectator. Now you got three squads. Yeah, these guys are going in a different direction. These guys are going there. All right, so that should give you an idea of what they do so they're basically gonna patrol the area yeah these guys are probably gonna go out out here Hit escape let's go back to the editor let's try a different way to do this so instead of a radio trigger let's edit the trigger we're going to go to activation and just put any player and it's gonna be any player present and then what we're going to do is just hit OK and then we're going to go to the area widget click on that 
and just expand the trigger and we're going to go to the map just expand it so we can uh, got some room here so this trigger we're going to put right here and we're just going to expand it real big we're going to expand it to the fence line because this is a fence we're going to go back to the player go here and press M on your keyboard to bring to the player and we're going to move the player actually you just go like this and scroll down and go right here and just move the player here so what's going to happen now is when you enter this trigger you could kind of see where the trigger ends when you enter this trigger it's going to spawn this group so let's save that and then just hit play and we're going to go up to the fence and we're still going to get the hint when we enter the trigger so it's just some feedback and here we go so now if we just hit escape and go to spectator we have a four man squad that spawned So obviously this is only going to spawn once. So let's go back to the editor. I'm going to show you another idea for this. So if I go to the map, you take this trigger and you take the marker, just highlight them, copy both, press control C. And then if we go like this, just put that in the center and then move the marker. So that's right about here. Shrink this marker just a little bit. So that's like this. Something like that. That's fine. All right. I'm going to go to the marker and we're going to edit this. We're going to name this Spawn 2 and hit OK. And then we're going to go to the trigger. In the squad, you're going to name it Squad 2. And then in Spawn 1, you're going to put Spawn 2. And you can leave, we'll, we'll leave the same squad and just be sure to change it here. So squad 2 and then spawn 2 and just hit OK. Alright, so what that's going to do is that's going to spawn another squad. Let's just hit save and let's play it. Alright, so we're going to speed up the, the thing here. And now we're in the trigger. Hit escape. So we have our one squad, that's these guys. Now let's go to the other trigger, Let's speed this up, and we'll just hit escape, and go to spectator, and here's our second squad. So now you have a second squad spawned. So you could, you could create different zones for this, all of your map. You know, you, you can have a zone here, you can have a zone here, a zone here, different stuff like that. Now, let's go back to the editor. I'm going to show you one thing. So we go to our map and go to our, our marker. If you edit the marker, where you see alpha here, this is the transparency. Now, if you don't want to see the markers on the map, just drop your transparency down to zero, hit OK, and now you don't have a marker even though it's there. The marker will still be seen here. So if you have to, you know, change anything, you know, copy it or add another marker, then you could do that here. The faster way is to basically uh, go to here. The faster way would be to just edit it from the, the panel and just go like that. So now you can create all kinds of different zones where you could spawn different squads, any type of squad that you like or want. I uh, hope you find this useful. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.